Hello everyone, my name is Sanjay Mahagoda. Uh, in this session, I would like to discuss about WC2 APK, uh, which is API platform for Kubernetes, and uh, how we contribute to open source community, and uh, how we evolve the product, and uh, what are the, some upcoming plans for the product. Uh, so if I tell you about myself, I work as a technical product manager at WSO2. Uh, so I'm in API management industry for more than like uh, last 13 years. Uh, so my expertise primarily include API management integration uh, and the engineering management aspects. Okay, so I think uh, next uh, I will introduce uh, WSO2 APK. So in this session, I would like to first explain uh, why we wanted to invent something like WSO2 APK. Uh, under that, I will basically cover uh, what are some industry level uh, observations we had and then uh, how we consider those factors and design something like APK. So then I'll uh, discuss a little bit about the technology of the APK. Uh, then I'll, I'll discuss how APK contribute to open source work. Uh, basically how we use open source component and uh, what we should uh, like uh, expect to, you know, uh, from product like APK. So then I'll discuss a bit about uh, the future plans and uh, what are the upcoming features for WSO2 APK. Uh, yeah, so to start with, uh, I will first highlight some of the interesting observations we had in recent past. Uh, so as API management vendor in this market, we time to time analyze uh, market for possible trends and the potential uh, in the industry. Uh, so one such key uh, observation is uh, API gateways uh, becoming an infrastructure part these days. So that is one main observations. And then uh, API management integrates uh, deeply into systems. So that means almost all the systems available today uh, will have some sort of API management solution, whether it's uh, uh, some sort of a finance, finance solution or else it can be like a, a ERP system. So all these systems will have some sort of inbuilt API management solution. So one trend we are observing is API management becoming part of almost all the systems available today market. And one other observation is Onoi proxy is becoming the de facto gateway or the proxy for most of the Kubernetes deployment. Uh, so for example, we can see like uh, 100 of different like uh, gateways and the proxies built on top of Onoi. So we think uh, it's a very prominent gateway in the market and within next uh, few years it will fully dominate the uh, gateway market so that is one key observation and uh, I think uh, Kubernetes adoption is something we actually don't need to discuss I think almost all the industry verticals adapting Kubernetes uh, very fast uh, some some industry verticals uh, grew up to 200% year on year uh, if we consider the Kubernetes usage alone so with that, uh, we can see uh, very rapid growth in uh, Kubernetes adoption. So we consider that as well uh, when we design APK. So then uh, API management uh, mainly focused shifts towards the management aspect rather than the gateway. So uh, gateway is kind of becoming a commodity and almost all the organizations are mainly focusing on the management aspect. So this is something we observe across uh, our major customers and the partners that we are working. So this is a key observation. So we would like to highlight that fact as well. So by considering all these observations, we decided to implement a product uh, uh, which address this demand. Uh, so that's how WSO2 API platform for Kubernetes came out. Uh, so if I discuss uh, some features about WSO2 API platform for Kubernetes, it is specifically optimized for Kubernetes environment and leveraging Kubernetes native features. And it's a 100% community driven project, open source project. Uh, and uh, we got a lot of feedback from our customers and partners on the features and the design deployment scale. Uh, likewise, we got a lot of feedback. So, so we are developing uh, this product based on this feedback from the community. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, Onno is becoming the de facto gateway. Uh, so in this particular solution, uh, we decided to use Onno as gateway. So Onno gateway uh, will be uh, bundled and shipped as a, a gateway for WSO2 APK. And also uh, 
uh, we are not only utilizing Onnoi, uh, we are also contributing back to the Onnoi community. So for example, there are some features that we developed and we contributed them back to the Onnoi community because what we believe is uh, as, a, uh, as a leading open source vendor, we, should, we just uh, should not rely on open source. I mean, I mean, we should not only use them, we should always contribute back. So with that in mind, uh, we contributed all the developments that we did uh, into Onnoi Core. So now those are part of the Onnoi product as well. And it's uh, something uh, we built for the cloud scale. That means it's not something you can, you know, try out and do POC kind of thing, but you can use this product in a complete cloud environment with real production live traffic and uh, it support all the scaling and the resiliency and other cloud native aspects as well. Okay, so apart from that, uh, uh, WSO2 APK is not just a gateway. Uh, we, saw, we have a lot of uh, management capabilities as well in addition to gateway capabilities. And it comes with uh, CI CD capabilities, which will enable users to, you know, uh, manage artifact across different environments automatically uh, move them to next uh, environment so all these things are supported and also when we design apk we follow the microservices architecture so all the advantages we are getting with microservice architecture we can get in apk as well so that means including uh, like independent scalability deployment facilities uh, so all these features are there uh, by adapting microservices architecture and uh, it also comes with uh, independent modular control plane so you have ability to uh, run APK without uh, control plane as well. So that means if you want only data plane part, then you have freedom to just run the data plane part. So it can completely independently work uh, without relying on control plane. So then uh, we believe most of the like the production users, they need some sort of a marketplace to list their APIs and uh, enhance the collaboration. So with that in mind, we are working on API marketplace as well. So within next uh, like a few releases, we will start working on that and release marketplace as a feature. So if I discuss about the uh, APK journey so far, uh, we started using Onvoy as a gateway in 2021 uh, Q1. Uh, so we basically uh, used uh, Onvoy to our internal uh, a courier platform so in our internal ipas platform we had api management use cases and in that case as a gateway we used onvoy there are certain improvements that we did to onvoy as well uh, so then we kept using this for some time and uh, after some time i mean after using one and one or one and a half year we realized that uh, this uh, the gateway features that we develop can be valuable for open source community as well so then we decided to implement a product named APK and we released that as a software product. So now we are using it in the cloud as well as we utilize that knowledge and the skill that we gain uh, to create a product uh, that address uh, exact similar uh, use cases. So that's how APK project is started in 2022 Q4. Then uh, after developing uh, initial component, we did uh, initial release in 2023 Q3. Uh, so in the initial release, we had gateway component and analytics rate limiting, uh, that kind of basic capabilities. Apart from that, we had uh, ELK integration for the analytics, Corio analytics support and open telemetry support as well. So that's what uh, we did last year. Uh, then uh, we decided to do another release in this year. So this release, uh, I mean, we are doing it uh, in the like next month. So that release, uh, we will include uh, control plane support as well. So basically we have very established mature API management product, WSO2 API manager, and we are utilizing that as a control plane for uh, APK data plane. So that is something we are working these days. And within next few months or the next few weeks, uh, we will be mainly working on this and uh, we will release that uh, product as well. Uh, then after doing that release we will be doing another few releases and uh, over the time we hope to add uh, uh, different protocol related uh, enhancement and the portal related enhancement and there will be much more features available in uh, upcoming releases so that is 
very basic high level roadmap uh, what we i mean what we have done so far and uh, what's our plan for future so then i'll take a few minutes to discuss a component overview so if you can uh, see this diagram from uh, right side you can see there are different namespaces and different microservices deployed in these namespaces and these uh, uh, namespaces and the microservices are mostly uh, local to the that particular organization so they are doing their development and they deploy these services so now when we expose these services to outside we need some sort of api management platform so apk plays that role uh, if you look at the orange color boxes then you can see apk gateway part as well as the control plane so gateway will mainly acting as a main entry point for almost all the traffic for your organization and apply quality of services and control plane will take care about the management aspect of those apis and as you can see here you can integrate with uh, different login and monitoring systems as well as if you need you can plug different identity and access management system and there are like a set of tools available uh, so for example uh, there's a vs code uh, plugin available uh, which enables you to write your own integration or api management scenarios and uh, there are kubernetes specific crs uh, that helps you to you know do the deployment of your apis mm -hmm. and uh, there are like multiple analytics and uh, use um, uh, the usage monitoring platform integrations available as well so uh, then i'll uh, discuss a little bit about the how we collaborate with other open source project and the usage of other project so uh, if you discuss about the very high level apk overview it's a hundred percent open source one and the gateway part like i mentioned earlier it's based on the ongoing gateway and uh, we are adhering to kubernetes uh, gateway api specification uh, it's a i will discuss about that a little bit later uh, but it's a kind of a specification that unifies all the gateway implementations across kubernetes environment and uh, we do support isolated isolated organization management and then uh, we do support API creation or uh, the old API management related artifact management as a custom resources. So in the Kubernetes, custom resources is uh, uh, the artifact type that you use to uh, declare your resources in the environment. Uh, so AP, with APK, uh, we made all of the API related artifacts like uh, APIs, applications, subscriptions, all of them now become the uh, first class citizens in the Kubernetes environment. So these are like a very high level overview about APK and how it fit to uh, Kubernetes or the open source uh, models. Uh, so then I'll discuss a bit about Onoi gateway. So like I mentioned earlier, Onoi is a very fast, uh, high performing gateway. Uh, uh, there are a lot of other projects, uh, a lot of solutions built on top of Onoi gateway. It's a very active one. Uh, there's a, like a wide community. Uh, so we are working with them very closely. Uh, it's again open source one. Uh, we are utilizing Onnoi. And like I mentioned earlier, when we use Onnoi, there are like certain gaps uh, we observed. So for example, there can be some improvements to uh, rate limiting aspects. So we did them, we contribute back, and now those are part of the core Onnoi product, product as well. Next, I will discuss about uh, Gateway API specification. So this is again uh, the community driven start startup. Basically, uh, the group of uh, people from the Kubernetes community started this uh, gateway API specification project. So the main idea here is like uh, coming up with some specification which unifies uh, gateway configurations across different uh, implementations. Uh, so when we uh, started working on APK. Uh, we observed this uh, specification and people are adapting it so we also thought of like adapting to this particular specification adapting this specification so with that in mind when we design our product uh, we consider all the declarations available in the kubernetes api specification gateway specification and we organize our products so our artifacts uh, according to this specification. So now we can say we are completely compliant with uh, Gateway API specification. So if you are defining any resources according to Gateway API specification, uh, WC2 APK support that as well. So then again, 
uh, what we believe is as open source vendor uh, we should always try to adapt uh, open specifications open implementations because uh, this uh, community collaboration uh, standardization all these things are important for us okay so then i'll discuss uh, some detail about uh, current project status uh, so like i mentioned earlier we have done like uh, uh, one major release and uh, there are a few milestone releases as well uh, so as of today we do have multiple uh, distributions available so one such uh, distribution is apk config language support so this is a vs code based plugin uh, which allows you to generate apk configuration uh, based on your specific use cases so for example let's say you want to generate apk config gateway configuration based on the uh, swagger or open api file you can utilize this plugin to do that uh, so that is uh, uh, one distribution so there are like uh, 1500 downloads uh, available uh, downloads happened uh, like uh, over the last few months and uh, then uh, if uh, there are like docker images available uh, which need for the deployment uh, we observed there are like 10,000 plus docker image pools and um, uh, obviously uh, you, if you visit wsjpk github repo uh, you can see like multiple people are uh, contributing to that as well so you'd like to thank uh, almost all the people from the community uh, for your valuable support uh, on this project so far so then uh, i'll discuss a little bit about the future direction uh, so like I mentioned earlier, within the next few weeks, we will be working on comprehensive control plane support for uh, APK. So that is powered by WS2 API Manager. And then there will be some additional features coming with uh, the enhanced gateway environment support, analytics and tracing related improvements, GraphQL support, and uh, there are some interesting other protocol support coming up. And also policy management related improvements are something we focus these days. And also we hope to include workflow engagement as well. And of course, there will be many additional uh, new features will available as well. Yes, so that is about the high level plan. Uh, so I would like to uh, take this moment to thank almost all the all of you from uh, community to for your support, love and encouragement uh, so far on this project. Thank you so much. Yeah.